Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my first Mugen tutorial, or Mugen as I will still call it. In this tutorial, I will teach you about installing Mugen and adding characters. Now, keep in mind that I am using Windows 7, so some of this might not apply to you guys because I know some of you are still using Windows Vista, Windows XP, maybe Windows 2000 or 98. Well, I'm not sure who uses that now. So if you guys want to see more tutorials, please like my channel, comment, and subscribe. And I will do this more in the future. So right now, let's get started. Now here's the original site that I got Mugen 1.0 from. Now I understand that some of, you, some of you might still use a high res. So this is going to be the same thing, but some of this, some will be a little different. Now the site that you want to go to is electbyte.com slash Mugen. Now if you guys can't see this, I will post the link under the, the video below so you guys can go to that site and download it. Now fortunately, I have 1.0 installed so you guys don't have to wait for me to download it and then just do all that. Because I have Mugen 1.0 right here. So you can, as you can see, that's everything that you will see right there. That needs that's in the folder. Now, some character. Now, if you want to download characters, what I recommend is going to mugenguild.com/form or mugeninfantry.net because these two are not the main sites, but are the recommended sites to go to if you want to showcase your character or download characters or anything that you want well mostly actually now your computer will have a winzip as your thing as your um how should I, how should I put it how should I put it to extract now winzip is fine but sometimes winzip you know it's not going to help a lot so what I recommend is going to win you would want WinRAR. Now the site is called rawlab.com slash download. Now keep in mind I am not I am not working for them nor am I advertising so I'm just telling you the sites where to go because I certainly don't want to get sued. <laughs> Alright I am using a Windows 7 64-bit so I'm going to download 64-bit but I already have it installed so I really don't need it. Now, a couple of little ones, other sites to download, probably this one and this one. I'll leave the links under the video so you guys can go check them out. Now, here's a 1.0 installed, and I have the characters installed as well. Now, here are ways to extract, as I assume that most of you already have WinRAR installed. Now, for this, Mr. Karate Second, what you want to do is right click. You will want to go to Extract Here. Keep that in mind. Or if you want to do this, go to Extract Files. And what you want to do is click OK and check, make sure everything is under the desktop and click OK. And there you go. There's Mr. Karate Second. He's under the character folder. Now also you can, now also you can click on Extract Here it'll do the same thing. Now here what I'm going to do is another example of some people might do this wrong now and panic or whatever. Now here you notice while I clicked on extract here oh no here comes all this uh, random files what do I do? Well good way to correct that. What you want to do is create a new folder now do you see the name uh, that's underscore that's uh, named uh, Kyo underscore MI now you want to name it the same thing okay and after you do that you drag all of this files and which you drag it all the way to that character folder but if you guys don't want to do that if you guys are too lazy don't lie I know some of you might be what you want to do is right click then you go to extract to kill underscore mi and there you go it does all the work for you 
So now that you have the characters, character folders that are done, you want to extract. You want to go to Mugen 1.0. You go to Data, then you go to Select .def, which I have right here. Now some. Now what you want to do is go all the way, all the way to insert your characters below. You want to. You have to name your folders. Make sure there are. Make sure the names are correct. Same thing inside the character folder. Make sure that the name on the character folders is the same name under the character's DEF file or DEF file. So they're okay. They're both correct right here. So what you want to do is you name it. Let's see, Mr. Karate dash second. So what you want to do is type out the same thing. And for the Kyo is the same thing as well. And when, after that, make sure you click on save. Okay. Now you click either click on save or you use the hockey control S. So now that you have the character folders installed, you will want to drag these two to the characters or the charge folder. Oh, sorry. Now these character folders, there are, I have them in there already, so you really, you don't need to see me extract to drag them, but I will do so just like this. Now these characters already existed, so I don't need to do anything. But I'm just going to click on yes, and I'm going to do yes for every single item. Okay, now what you want to do next is open your Mugen. Now I have the screen at 640 by 480. That's not the default. The default setting is 1280 by 720, I believe. I'm not quite sure. It's 720 by 480. So after that, you would go to your wherever. And there you go. Here are the two that are installed. So here are the two character folders that I downloaded and extract. So there you go. Now you have the two character folders. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So if you want to see more of this tutorial in the future, please like, comment, and subscribe and I will do this more in the future. Alright, and this is uh, me signing out so I will see you all later.